Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be talking about my Point Horror book collection. Point Horror is a YA horror series that came out in the 90s, published by Scholastic. The first ones came out in the UK in 1991, when I was 10, and whenever I had enough pocket money, I would go to WH Smith on a Saturday and buy a new one to add to my collection. I will be showing each book in my collection in this video, so if you do want to skip ahead just to look at the books, I will leave a timestamp down below. So if you don't want to hear me ramble and reminisce about point horror books, then feel free to skip ahead. So this is my complete collection. About a half of these were actually my originals from back in the day, and the rest I have collected over the years. Point horror was something I was obsessed with as a kid, and it's just continued forever. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get tired of these covers. The cover art was always a big draw for me. They were so exciting and there was so much anticipation within these titles and cover art. Sometimes the insides didn't quite live up to that promise, but I loved them anyway. The last books in the Point Horror series that I bought were probably in about 1995. I got a bit older and moved on to other things, but these books have always held a really special place in my heart. So the rest of my collection I bought second hand. I did manage to find a couple in charity shops in the UK. I would always keep an eye out for them, but I only ever found two total in a very long time of searching on and off. And the rest of them I bought online from places like eBay and Ape Books. So this has been a passion project of mine for a really long time and I'm so happy to finally have a complete collection. And one of my dreams was to actually have a display where I could show the covers themselves rather than just putting them on a shelf and just seeing the spines. And my wonderful husband created this amazing wall display for me and I think it's incredible. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. And some of you Point Horror fanatics out there might be thinking, I don't think that's a complete collection, Alex. And you're half right. The ones that I do have in the collection but aren't on the display are the three 13 short story collections. So we have 13 Tales of Horror, 13 More Tales of Horror, and 13 again. And unfortunately there just wasn't a configuration that worked to include these in the display, so I made an executive decision and left them off. But I know I have them, so that's okay. In addition to these books, there was also a series called Point Horror Unleashed, which came out after the main run of Point Horror books. There was also a spin-off series called Nightmare Hall. These were all by Diane Ho. And I believe it was in the late 90s, they re-released a bunch of them with these metallic covers. But honestly, I don't think there's much competition between these and those. So I haven't personally collected any of those books. To me, this is a complete collection. This was exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I think it looks awesome. Some of my favourites that I remember really enjoying when I was a kid are Beach House by R.L. Stein. The Diary by Sinclair Smith, The Cheerleader by Caroline B. Cooney, The Invitation by Diane Ho, and Trick or Treat by Richie Tangusley Cusick. Now remember this was one of the first ones, if not the first one I ever bought. It's also one of my favourite covers and I remember really enjoying the story too. And this was a whopping £1.95, so yeah, so much nostalgia here. So what you've all been waiting for, onto the books, in alphabetical order. The Accident by Diane Ho Amnesia by Sinclair Smith
April Fools by Richie Tankersley Acoustic. The Babysitter by R.L. Stein. The Babysitter 2 by R.L. Stein. The Babysitter 3 by R.L. Stein. And The Babysitter 4 by R.L. Stein. Beach House by R.L. Stein. Beach Party by R.L. Stein. The Body by Carol Ellis. The Boy Next Door by Sinclair Smith. The Boyfriend by R.L. Stein. The Bride by D.E. Atkins. Call Waiting by R.L. Stein. Camp Fear by Carol Ellis. The Cemetery by D.E. Atkins. The Cheerleader by Caroline B. Cooney. The Claw by Carmen Adams. The Dead Game by A. Bates. The Dead Girlfriend by R. L. Stein. The Diary by Sinclair Smith. Double Date by Sinclair Smith. Dream Date by Sinclair Smith. Driver's Dead by Peter Larangis. Fatal Secrets by Richie Tankersley Kusick. The Fever by Diane Ho. The Forbidden Game 1, The Hunter, by L.J. Smith. The Forbidden Game 2, The Chase, by L.J. Smith. The Forbidden Game 3, The Kill, by L.J. Smith. Freeze Tag, by Caroline B. Cooney. Funhouse by Diane Ho. The Girlfriend by R.L. Stein. Halloween Night by R.L. Stein. Halloween Night 2 by R.L. Stein. Help Wanted by Richie Tankasuku Sick. Hide and Seek by Jane McFann. Hit and Run by R.L. Stein. The Hitchhiker by R.L. Stein. Homecoming Queen by John Hall The Invitation by Diane Ho
Crazy For You by A. Bates. The Lifeguard by Richie Tankersley Cusick. The Mall by Richie Tankersley Cusick. Mother's Helper by A. Bates. The Mummy by Barbara Steiner. My Secret Admirer by Carol Ellis. This was first released in 1991 with the cover on the left and then again on the right with a different cover in 1994. Night School by Caroline B. Cooney. The Perfume by Caroline B. Cooney. The Phantom by Barbara Steiner. Prom Date by Diane Ho. The Return of the Vampire by Caroline B. Cooney. Second Sight by Sinclair Smith. Silent Witness by Carol Ellis. The Snowman by R.L. Stein. Spring Break by Barbara Steiner. The Stalker by Carol Ellis. The Stranger by Caroline B. Cooney. The Surfer by Linda Cargill. Sweet Sixteen by Francesca Jeffries. Teacher's Pet by Richie Tankersley Cusick. 13 Tales of Horror, edited by T. Pines. Thirteen More Tales of Horror, edited by A. Finnis. Thirteen Again, edited by A. Finnis. The Train, by Diane Ho. Trick or Treat by Richie Tankersley Cusick. Twins by Caroline B. Cooney. Vampire's Love 1 Blood Curse by Janice Harrell. Vampire's Love 2 Blood Spell by Janice Harrell. The Vampire's Promise by Caroline B. Cooney. The Waitress by Sinclair Smith. The Watcher by Lael Lidkin. The Window by Carol Ellis. The Witness by R. L. Stein. The Yearbook by Peter Larangis. So that's my Point Horror book collection. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you were or still are a Point Horror fan. I'd love to know what your favourite book is. I will be doing some more videos in this series focusing on each author so I can go into a bit more detail on each of the books. 
Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!